Hello friends, welcome to the New Tech Navigators. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a conditional formatting in Google Sheet chart. As you are seeing my screen, we have here employee by sales and we have given the target sales for each employee. And we have put a conditional formatting on this chart wherever the sales is less than the target that is in red. And if it is above the target or equal to target, then it is in green. Let me show you if I will put here target as 2000 only, then you can see all is in green because all are above 2000. But if I put here 2500, then you can see these two are in red because they are less than 2500. If I put here 4000, then we can see some others also in red or if I will put here 5000 then some more red. So only these two greater than 5000. Alright. So this is totally dynamic. You can change the target automatically. It will adjust the color. Let me explain you how we can create this in Google Sheets step by step. Please watch this video till the end. Let me copy this data. We will use this same data and let's add a new sheet. This is sheet 2. We can paste that data here. Let's go to the view and show uncheck the grid lines from here. We can take the same target also. We can change that. Let us paste this here. Okay. Now we will take two support column, one for red, another one for green. For red, we can use a formula if the sales is less than this target. Okay the actual sale is less than target then it will be in red so we'll show this number in otherwise we'll show this any function so put here any and just hit the enter we can fill this down till the end similarly for green we will take if this sale which is on b4 is greater than this target we will freeze this press f4 to freeze this and just take equal to also if it is equal to target or greater than then it should be in green so we will take this sales value else we will take any just close the bracket and hit the enter let us fill down this formula now let's match the number so here the sale is 4040 but the target was 5000 so it is in red here it is showing any and here in this case it is 5413 which is greater than 5000 so it is in green column okay so it will show the data accordingly let me align this center and now i can insert a chart so let's go to the insert and insert a blank chart we have here this blank chart now what we will do first let's change the chart type and we will take this chart which is stack column chart and we will take the range here so let's take the range first range we will take the employee name so just select this click on add another range and here we will take this red one till here click on add another range and let's take the green one also till row number 12 okay click on ok now here we can see this chart it will look like this you can click on the aggregate also if you think the employee name will repeat so you can use that aggregate also and use row number three as header because this is a header you can see here all right now let's go to the customize and here we will go to the series let's select here red color series and the fill color of the red color we will use this color okay and we will show the data labels also so just click on the data labels and the position of the data label we will keep outside end all right you can make this bold also now in the series let's select the green the green we will take this color let's take this one or you can choose any other green color from here also then we will show the data labels also so select the data label and the position of the data label we will keep this one outside end all right so this is created now we can just remove these grid lines so just double click and you can just uncheck this so grid lines are also removed make it slightly bigger we don't need this legion just double click and uh, 
double click on this legend and you can just say none to the legend but add the chart title here so i'm saying this is sales by employee okay just enter and align this center take the color black and the font size around 18 font name you can take whatever you want let's say i'm taking tahuma and our chart is ready now to hide these columns you can select and you can fill some white font also so that will not be visible now you can keep this here and if you change the target now let's say 2000 then you can see all in green 2500 two in red and let's say 4000 few more red and 4500 then these two also in red so this is dynamically you can use this chart for your dashboard or your reporting purpose Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.